All right, 96.9 Cool FM, Yemi Alade um, with Oh My Gosh, the remix featuring one of my faves. Everybody knows how much I love Rick Ross. I said I can't, oh gosh, I can't say this on the remix. Sometimes I want to say things and I'm like, oh, the time. But I can, uh, you know, I can, if Rick, vo- if Rick Ross's voice toasts me, I'll agree straight. Aye. I'm not even going to, I think it's, yeah. If a guy has, if you have a voice like Rick Ross, that's plus one. We have one in Nigeria. Who is that? One guy like that. Who's that? Like he has records Who's exactly that? like Rick Who's Ross's. Who's that? I can't remember his name, and he even looks like him. He has the the. the uh, how come I don't know this guy? Build. No, uh, I'm not doing my work hard. I'm not working hard enough. No, you're not. But ladies and gentlemen, guess who's in the studio with me? She already talking. <laughs> Mama Africa! Hey. Yemi Alade. One time I said Mama Africa, Yemi Alade, and someone just poop, you know, just like dragged me for it. Like, why are you calling her Mama Africa? She's not Mama Africa. And I'm like, okay. So let's have let's let me I said, okay, let's clear this out. I've I always hear people call Ye, Mama Yemi Mama Africa. And people call you that. How did you get the name? Uh, from my album, uh-huh. um, my second album title uh-huh. is Mama Africa. Uh-huh. But it's I, not like you're saying it because you are the mother of all Africans now. Like I feel like who, that's who is that? Is there a mother of all Africans? <laughs> I, I, I you, they said that you, who 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 are you to be called Mama African? I'm like uh, okay. Well, that's so, quite offensive though. Uh, nobody's not. Are you dragging that? No. no. What, which one? That one. Every every female, mm-hmm. every man, every everybody is Mama Africa. Every African is Mama Africa. Exactly. Because Africa has has bettered us. Africa has taken care of us. Yeah. It is the riches of Africa that's yeah. taking care of the world. But I do understand that some people are, uh, Very sens- have opinions yeah. towards um, who should be Mama Africa. Nobody. Is it a title that's been that's been awarded? Because they're like, oh, but the likes of Brenda Fassi and 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 Yvonne. Shaka shaka, those are the true Mama Africa. As I'm like, that a person is unable to see gold when they see gold doesn't yeah. reduce the value. So of guys, gold. easy, easy. She had an album called Mama Africa. Uh, you call her that, it's fine. <laughs> and Yemi, and and let's not lie, Yemi represents Africa very well. To be honest, throughout her reign in the career, it's always been very inspired. You could just tell that she, when you see her from a mile away, you know that she is an African. So you can't even take that away from her. Welcome to the Ever. show. Thank you, babes. Congratulations on your new album drop today, mm-hmm. Woman of Steel. Yes, Woman of Steel. Oh my gosh. I. How do you feel? I, I just can't wait for the next person to say that she's not made of steel. Don't call her Woman of Steel. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just done with all this. Nah, I'm sure you are. <laughs> you, you you get a lot of, you know, criticisms. Like, people, people you know, talk about you as an artist. People talk about you, um, you know, um, how far you've come and why you are where you are. But I I I admit admit the negativity that comes that surrounds your brand. I would like to say that people also appreciate you. People actually talk about good things that you've done. And I I feel like if you listen to every single negative comment that someone has had, you probably wouldn't have come this far. What would someone like Skills do? No, he's constantly I, being trolled and he's still I, pushing. I feel like I feel like in everybody's books, yeah, you're a villain. Yeah. Like if someone should tell their own story about someone else while mm-hmm. they're not there, we're yeah. all. Yeah. Not everybody must understand the process. Where, yeah, the process mm-hmm. and you know value yeah. what is being. How long have you been working on Woman of Steel, girl? Woman of Steel. <laughs> I feel like I pretty much have works from five years ago, from yeah. two years ago, and then a That's lot of there. work. Yes, mm-hmm. and then a lot of work that I I recorded um, early this year and yeah. last year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! And one of the things that was exciting as well, you were on the Lion, uh, the the Gift album. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Tell me about it. Like I refuse <laughs> to kind of get the the backstory until I you, we're gonna sit on this chair. So you, you have to tell me how the, how it all went down. Uh, and then oh. you met Beyonce. You will say it over and over again and you have to say it here. I'm going to start selling tickets. So people have to buy. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah me because you want one minute, you gotta pay one million. You want two minutes of information, you pay two million. Info. Give me all that juice. I had a I had to talk to Shata Wale from Ghana and he told me everything. So tell you me You went everything. all the way to Ghana. He called he called us here. Oh and he geez. yeah he had to tell me how he got how he got on Beyonce when I'm here on the in album. Nigeria. And so you're here and you're live. So tell me how it went down. You're going to say it again. Tell me the whole story. Okay. so just I want to see keep, the emotions. To keep, uh, I'll try. <laughs> to keep the long story short. Yeah. Um, we got word for about the project mm-hmm. via email. Okay. And Parkwood had emailed my management. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we sort of like slept on it for almost two months because it, we assumed that it was probably one of them scam emails. Okay. Unfortunately, Mr. Taya Liu did not reach out to me to tell me that Parkwood was emailing him. And he's not like crazy about BS. 
I am. Yes. If, when I hear Pakura, I know who it is. Yeah. You know, so when he eventually told me, it was already like two weeks to the end of this project. No. You know? Yeah, but like we almost didn't make it because I was booked in, in certain cities that had me flying for almost over a day hmm. to get to them and to get flying to them back. back. You know? But eventually, from Los, um, after my gig in Las Vegas, I was able to get to Los Angeles. And that's where I got into the session. Long story short, and painfully, I landed in Los Angeles after already pre-booking my, my tickets and accommodation for three days, only to realize that I had no talking voice and no singing voice. Stop. So I was basically like dumb, but I could hear. You know, okay. I couldn't speak. Okay. I couldn't whisper. Whispering wow. wasn't even an option. I had not. You guys go through these things, man. Yeah, this was the worst I'd had in a long time. I yeah. think my body had just um, r- really been so stressed. Stressed. Because I know you travel a lot. This one was like the worst. I, I had connected. I'd been on so many connecting <sighs> flights. flights. Body clock, your body, everything was just. And you know, that, that um, the recycled mm-hmm. air that air you breathe in, in the plane. Nah. Everything got to me. So eventually, after about two days of soaking in on all those nourishments, I just went into hibernation mode. I didn't do anything, say anything. I was just taking nutrients, shots and shots, special throat teas, everything I could. Right. Finally, I could speak on a third day. Okay. And then I then I could hit some keys, but I couldn't go anywhere high. Um, then I gave all I could, you know. And then I then I realized that I even told Mr. Ty, I said this is what i feel because walking into here i feel like africa is with me because every room you go to every studio you walk into right. there's a huge board with all african dainties there like all african um symbols yes. and, and and culture yeah and they're being displayed for the world for anyone who walks in there to see they're not being he- they're not hidden or yeah. whatsoever this was at the studio yeah at beyonce's studio at Beyonce's yeah studio. there are about seven studios in the same office hmm. and i just felt like someone had hacked into my pin interest and just put everything on the wall because I it just made me happy to see to that see how someone it, else was yeah. just as excited yeah. about Africa as I yeah. am. And I just told Ty that see, in fact, if this recording if if after this recording, after they've selected hundred and fifty songs, because that's yeah. when I got there, yeah. they had selected from all the catalogues of songs, they mm. selected hundred and fifty songs. Mm. I said even if I don't make it to this cut, yeah, I will just do my best and know that I gave you my all, especially knowing that this project is being honored by someone that feels the same way I do about um, music and about Africa. Yeah. That's, I, that's how I felt. And not mm. only did I get on two songs, I got five credits yeah. amongst many other things that I yet did to you, be did you Did you meet her at, um, when you were... At the office. At the office, yeah. No, no, no. I did okay. not. But I heard that prior to when I had landed that she had once or twice come into the studio like she could just randomly appear you know yeah oh my gosh but then i didn't meet her there i met her in london at yes the, at the premiere at the, at, premiere at the london the premiere movie. okay because i saw that introduction and she was nodding her head like oh so this is yummy it's kind of ah no there wasn't even like um oh this is yummy i think like this is the yummy this you know how FBI you guys have never met now you know that beyonce is like american uh, royalty uh, yeah oh i like say music royalty yeah so imagine this obama and michelle yes. if they're going to meet anyone they've already been given a breakdown of who they are what oh, okay they do. so she already knew so she, it's like once you look you can see your targets right. she already knew so she she knew exactly what to tell each or all four of us that <laughs> approached her you know? oh my god it was a personal request of hers to make sure that she met us so she was prepared and she was happy it was amazing was, yeah yes yeah and let me ask you and because you were stressed out your emotions were all over the place you have been traveling you know walking into that studio and for somebody that likes beyonce as well did you were you under a lot of pressure like oh i know you said that you know at a point you said if you, you know if, if we make it we make it. if we don't yeah. make it but mm-hmm. did you have that struggle with your emotions like oh this is it i, I really want to do this but i'm not in my i'm not a hundred because you said you weren't a no, hundred i worked so hard because i can imagine daily. no I, I didn't even feel i didn't beat myself up at okay all. okay i worked so hard on daily it's nothing new to me mm. um and i also know that if i've come this far if it works or it doesn't work i'll get another That's opportunity good mentality. To be better yeah I, what would i do i have no voice i can't sing i can't talk of what use i and you still I, made I? it on two uh, on, 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 still, on you wow. know I, I can't beat myself up yeah. you know so i i was chilled about it and eventually something gave yeah even though i was chilled i still work towards you know yeah. getting better because most times when my throat or my voice starts to um deplete or whatever mm-hmm. it is i realize that it's my entire body speaking to me so that means i'm i am i'm already hurting from the inside so i have yeah. to Get nourish myself, myself back again wow well yeah. done well done and congratulations with that as Thank well you. um uh, you've been working a lot. Even last year, when I was in New York, you were in New York. I was supposed to come for a concert. Was it last year? 
I was supposed to come for a concert. You, uh, it was a, it was a, an Afro. I can't remember. Oh, I actually wanted. You remember we were we were talking yeah, and yeah, I, and yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the next thing um, you were posting pictures in New York and then the next thing you were in another country and I, I'm like. I, I mean, can't even. Yeah. How do you? Yo. How, how do? What time are you ever in Nigeria? Are you? Are you always? Wh- what is your? What is your life like? <laughs> Babes, I go wherever, wherever I'm needed. Yeah. Um, it's is the now the work we will now. Where, where do you? This. Where do you? Where do you have? Do you? Do you? Does your management? Do you know where you have your strongest fan base? My strongest fan. My yes. Strongest fan, fan base. base. Like where are you? You know where do you think that the numbers come from? Where do you think that okay. the love is more the most? Uh, so you know that's like the business angle and it's quite important yes. to know those yeah, um, th- algorithms they must and those know figures. they must know yeah. but um if you're looking at it from a continental business yes africa america Bubu, yes it's europe yes Ooh. europe has like the highest figures yeah but afrobeats and and music is so widespread now that we're not looking at continents anymore, anymore. we're looking at worldwide yeah. so like yeah. the worldwide acceptance of afrobeats is Mm-hmm. off the roof mm-hmm. right now and where do you get the most kick as an artist from where do you get the most what what gets you going the most especially when it comes to performing since you do a lot of shows and you keep performing back back to back what gets you what gets you going like when it comes to performance the, what gets me going definitely is knowing that i have yet another performance to come and knowing that in this moment i'm about to make sure that nobody forgets that i was on this stage mm. so those moments are very important to me it's like so much has been placed on my shoulders and I must give, yeah. you know, and I must give. I yeah. leave everything there on the floor. Yeah. It's important. It's, it's, imp- it's important. Yes. Okay, so we're going to come back to, um, guys, if you're wondering, uh, Yemi Alade is in the studios uh, and today is a really, really exciting day for, for you. You also told me about a short film that you worked on also with this, uh, with this project, which will be premiering yes. as well. Tell me about that one. So, um, we had returned back to Nigeria and we decided that we needed to shoot some more videos because mm-hmm. we pretty much we pretty much shot videos for all the songs on yeah. the Woman of Steel album. And then we decided to go meet Clarence Peters and he writes a script. And along the way, we realized that this is a short film. So, he boosts the entire character. Uh-huh. Long and short, um, we're premiering this short film today because I feel like we need to share it. It is about a, a girl who is the product of... Um, a rape incident oh, okay. and she's leaving with her grandma but actually her father the rapist mm-hmm. is actually her grandpa so <sighs> that is quite a situation oh my gosh uh-huh. okay and that's that's so there's a private viewing today yeah. for certain people and then a little bit of an album listening but yeah. i feel it's something that i i needed to share yeah 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 like a oh. tribute to nollywood yeah yeah <laughs> are you in it yeah i am of course. okay so you acted yes yes of course i acted it's my short movie uh, yeah I, th- I thought maybe someone else uh, someone else was, no. was was in the movie <laughs> no there's some other people but then yeah. the, the song um of my album home yeah. is the soundtrack for the for for, for, the for right okay we actually have that um here on the station so i'm gonna yes. just drop that uh, for you guys and then i'm gonna come back and also talk to yemi yemi so i mean you came in looking like a bag of money did you guys get paid for the feature on, on that album and how much did you get paid when you become an artist, you'll know. Uh, what is it? I'm not an when artist. When you become, now. and so you are not going well, to you, know. Well, you got money. I mean, plenty. You got, got some good cash, right? Ah, killer. Right? Right? Just and did you get money. the? Did you? Did you like, like you got money, right? You for got paid what? for it for for being on for working with Beyonce. You got you know for being for lending. We your have voice an to, agreement. It, it, uh, okay, let's not. You, I know you would never want to give me the figures, but yes. maybe five, six figures. Oh, are we still still talking about the money? I, I got just five said, credits. Five credits and a good deal. And a good deal afterwards. Yes. So you're going to be cashing in for the rest of your life, Amen. I believe. I like Hallelujah. that. I know, I, know, I, know you're, I know you're smart like that. Ah, no, okay. Wow. It's 96. Well, I want to get me to catch her, her breath uh, and have you guys, um, Deals Plug, they're here. They want to tell me about travel. And Yemi travels a lot, so she might want to take this deal. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've been talking about this for the longest time, and I think that it's get coming to a close. So, if you haven't booked your tickets, uh, don't what say I didn't tell you. For? All right, tell me a little bit I about mean, summer is almost over, but uh-huh. if you haven't traveled this summer, it's not late because you can still jump in it. Because, mm-hmm. of course, Africa's largest travel agency, Travel Start, mm-hmm. is doing mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. really amazing. I mean, they've okay. been giving mind blowing discounts to travel to London for less. All right, so if you are here and you haven't traveled, then not to worry because you can travel. To the city of the Queen, like a boss, for two hundred and nineteen, eight hundred and ninety. Sounds like a good deal. Very great deal. Mm. I mean, it's a return ticket. So if you travel a lot.
but you know that this is really cheap and you cannot get it anywhere else if not travel starts and of course it's really easy guys all you need to do is just log on to www.thetravelstart.com.ng to start booking and of course you can also place a call through to 01-280-0663 right now to start booking and don't sleep on this because it will be over before you know it all right thank you very much nene for that one yeah i mean what is your where's your favorite country in the world ha huh. Where? Oh, that's not gonna work. You don't have a favorite. I don't have a favorite. No way. I don't have a favorite. Okay, where do you me. where where's the where do you like the most? Whenever you go, you're like, yeah, I'm back in this city. I love it in this city. I like it. London. doesn't have to be London. Yeah, I do. Two hundred and uh, how much? <laughs> Buy a ticket to Yem, one of Yemi's faves. Why do you like why do you like London? I don't know. There's something I really I don't know how to place it. Yeah. I feel I feel like if I were not um living in Nigeria, I would live in London. I just yeah. you know that feeling. It connects. Just, that's yeah. why I said that, you know. There, there, this place, there are places that you go to and you be like, yeah, I can stay here. Yeah. And yeah. where do you want to go? What country do you have in? On, do you have any country on your bucket list? Or you're like, you know what? My life is just a roller coaster. I'm always. Do you have any country that you wanna maybe? Maybe when you want to get married, you know. But I do know that I want to go to Miami because I haven't been to Miami. You haven't been to I've Miami. I've only transited. I've never been. Oh my to Miami. gosh! It's like it's like that. I haven't been to Atlanta, so like, I can't understand. And oh, I I go past exactly. Uh, yeah, but I want Miami to. Is, I want to be cool. in the waters and just take that picture that everyone lovely. keeps taking. Yeah, it's lovely. I didn't I didn't take mine because I was uh, <laughs> I was I was shy. You were shy. Ah, uh, I uh-uh. was. I wasn't. I felt like I needed to give them that the right um too much information. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> The right buddy. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll plan and we'll be we'll be there at, at the same at the same time. That would be great. So um you have been announcing you've been getting us very excited for for this particular album. Um mm-hmm. how 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 does this make how is this different from the rest of the albums that you have you know that you've put out? You know, I, I just want to know mm-hmm. because it's always like progression for you artists. But how is this body of work? You know, how do you feel about it to the people who are going to be listening to the album? I always try. I always make sure that I put my best foot forward, mm-hmm. and I I always make sure that my album is a reflection of who I am, okay. where I am yeah. at that point in time. Same thing happened for King of Queens, a compilation of emotions, a compilation of situations. Mm. Same thing for um, Mama Africa. Mm-hmm. Same thing for Black Magic, mm-hmm. and now Woman of Steel. Mm-hmm. It's like a composition of things I've loved before yes. and things I love now, and things I'm yet to love. So it's yeah. a bit of past, present, and future yeah. in there, yeah. and I'm really touching certain subjects that I. I haven't exactly expanded yeah. on um, of recent, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What and if, you mentioned marriage. There's something about marriage there. Yes. There's something about. Um, there's definitely. What's your, what are your thoughts on marriage? Are you? Do you want to get married? It's a great institution, isn't it? Do you want to get married someday? Okay. No, because it could be a yes or no. True. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I, right now we live in an age in an, in a time where you can actually say I I don't want to get married and I'm, yeah. I'm not going to look at you like mm-hmm. why doesn't she want to get married? But Do is you it something get that married? you Sure, why not? I want to get married. Yeah. Well, not a lot of us want to get married anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to get married. Do you have uh, have you have you ever thought about your wedding? Have you ever has it ever crossed your mind like the older oh, I'm going to wear no. not anymore, right? No, you have no. I've moved beyond um thinking of the wedding day to marriage itself mm. yeah mm. so it mm. doesn't matter what i'm wearing what you don't you don't care you no, just it doesn't, doesn't yeah. matter clothes yeah. have never really been my thing so like clothes have never been your thing what no i fashion could be something but like clothes have never really been yeah. my thing I, if you leave me i'll be in my shorts and tank top and i'll leave the happiest all day every life day ever You've got some really good deals for yourself, by the way. You had the Maybelline um, thing that, you, that that was going on for, and that's makeup and and beauty. And yeah. I think it was a good uh, it was a good match because obviously you've been very expressive with your with your art, um, your fashion, your you know. There's it. I feel like you were just on your own. I always tell people that, and for those who will never understand, I'm like, but that's the thing. Yemi has just created something mm-hmm. that you can't say this is where it, you could say it's a pool of different Several places things. that they yeah. yes but then again it just defines who she up. is exactly so was was that intentional by the way the maybe Bec- no not in no no not the, the, the art of your, who i your, am yes the art of who you are especially for women in the industry which is quite very it's really tough i think what, setting yourself apart 
I think what what is was and will always be intentional is being myself. Okay. Like I would not do anything because I'm trying to impress anybody okay. whatsoever. Yeah. It must go down well with me, hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. Other than that, uh, it's not me. Yeah. It's not me you are saying. So you've never tried anything that even if it's not you, but you're just doing it because hey. I have no regrets. No. I would not buy a designer bag because they said Yemi is not wearing designers. No. No. You live your life for you. No, I'd rather even buy for my mother self and move on with what I love Primark. I love H and M. I love <laughs> Aldo. I, I, I find variety there. Yes. Um and I find that I can work on a budget and do everything and I want do to do. And do other things that you want to do. You know, I'd, yeah. I'd rather go shopping for houses than shop for clothes. I'd, mm-hmm. But this is your own choice. It doesn't mean that those who are shopping for clothes are... You know, it yeah. doesn't mean that, but like everybody has their own preferences. I mm. think we've also come to a point in life where mm-hmm. a lot of you just don't know how to accept other people's differences without trying to put, put them, them down. down. You know, that you prefer A and I prefer B doesn't make A less of a good option. You yeah. Know? yeah. So like anything you want to shop for, go and shop. Yeah. But you know, as yeah. I'm just myself yeah. and I'm not trying to change because it's too much work. Yeah. There's too much work in that. Okay, cool stuff. We're going to come back and talk about more songs from the album. When I come back from the break, I'm going to play uh, Home, which she also said, you know, is the soundtrack to the short film that she shot with Clarence Peters. Uh, you know, she gave us a little brief on that one. The premiere is going to be uh, later on uh, today. Mm-hmm. And also the album has dropped. So it's on all platforms, right? Yes, so everyone sir. can go and buy and support stream and, and stream and download. Yeah. And support. And let me know what, which one of the songs is your that, favorite. That is my favorite. I'm going to have to. So for me, this is how I do it. And it, when, when you have a new album, Album, mm-hmm. I I take out a day that I'm not doing much. I listen one, okay, listen two, listen three, co- leave it, wow. come back. I listen to albums three. T- Plato Rankings Woman, I listen to it three times back to back wow. before I figured out what I really like the most. I mean, is that deep for me? I mean, like I mean, for me now, I know like want. my like Burner Boy's album, my favorite song on the African Giant album is Spiritual. Mm-hmm. Nobody can tell me anything. I consumed that album in, out, left. I got high, I got low, and then I figured out that Spiritual is the best song on that album. For me, I mean, anything any, this could be for you. So fantastic, and that's uh, the same way. You <laughs> answer them when they ask you, "Why are you calling her Mama Africa?" You tell them because that is it for you. <laughs> that is it for you. <laughs> we are going to go on the break. We'll be right back. It's ninety six point nine Cool FM. Yemi Alade in the studio. At some point, I'm going to open the phone line so you can give her a shout out. We, we females need to stop doing ourselves a disservice. Okay, and start you know, highlighting the good times we have with each other. And the successes that yeah, you guys success- have recorded. Yeah, celebrate each other, yeah. you know. Um, if you're showing support, show support wholeheartedly. But I find that sometimes, even online, females are showing support to females. Yeah. But people turn a blind eye uh-huh. because it's not sweet gist mm-hmm. if they're not correct. Yes. So if it's not a thing where you guys have clashed or something it's not as it's not as uh celebrated or yes. interesting as you, you know you posting i saw when you i think it was shay shay mm-hmm. i saw when she posted um your album coming mm-hmm. i saw a couple of people put, and i was like oh this is cute mm-hmm. you know uh and it's it's not it's not uh, a headline news on the blog saying no. hey guys female can you see shay shay yeah, and you no. know yemi alade is dropping an album in a few no. days and um female celebrity female artist support yemi alade we're not seeing that mm-hmm. but if it was Sh- uh, Yami through shade or the, the, it seemed like a shade between them okay that makes some sense that makes some sense uh-huh. then actual effort yeah. and that's unfair yeah so i think we should we should we should just you know de- focus on yeah what these females are bringing to the yeah. table we're bringing so much yeah so so much yeah do you who do you have um a cl- do you have close relationships with with other female are you friends like who is your who's your closest well, or do you, or you're not like that you're just cool with everyone i'm what cool is, with both um, female artists yeah. because it's not just about being an amazing if, if you work with artists you mm-hmm. realize that they are amazing mm-hmm. artists yeah. and sometimes behind the artist isn't mm-hmm. such an amazing person yeah you know so like i'm friends with both artists and people in the business sector people working nine to five yes. that are females yes that are achieving yeah you know? so i have mentors in all spheres yeah i'm definitely close to wajay definitely close to um um shay yeah. close to victoria kimani yeah close to a lot of shay bami j or blanta glam you know yeah. like several people yeah close to you as well yeah, you know yeah and um, we have a lot of dm chat that yes. we can't leak <laughs> <laughs> you better be clearing up your dms no, now i better clear it up <laughs> you know so yeah yeah, yeah. That's okay that, that's that's nice and um and um what do you say to young people you know i i feel like a lot of young people are you know there especially in times like this when people are now saying i don't i'm not anybody's role model low i'm not anybody's role don't copy me if i want to if i want to do anyhow are, where do you stand in this are you like 
okay i feel like people are watching me so i am modeling myself towards that oh i'm just living my my life and if i get the chance to impact anyone i will you know what is your stand on that i'm of the school of thought that um <laughs> yeah, there's only wrong. one life <laughs> because i cannot be living role model and i'll not be able to even model my life the way i want it to be <laughs> so you're living you know yeah exactly so, but if if you f- i feel like being a role model is such a responsibility yeah um and in the process yes i always try to say if i do something that you do not like don't say yeah. because your role model did it because my theory that worked for me might not work for you right you know so it's yeah. good to pick some from here some yeah. from there and make it work for you create your own destiny yeah yes. yeah and um in the for the music business because i know that you've been on for a while and you've had like a pretty much structured team okay yeah people a lot of people don't understand how the music business runs in nigeria mm. we always talk about this you know lack of structure and we get that some yeah. things are some things aren't yes yeah. yeah, so some things are a miss what would you say is the most challenging thing uh that you face as a musician in nigeria in terms of earning your income and you know making the best out of it somebody uh, rihanna hasn't put out an album in how many years and she's still earning royalties from her <laughs> you're looking at me Yo. do you know what i mean Yo. she is on the, She's top the richest list. she has ever been in, yes, her life. in her life and she hasn't put out music and she and w- there was a whole breakdown <laughs> of her of, and the, 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 there was there was like almost a hundred and something million that was that was attached to the royalties that she's still earning from music wow. what is the biggest problem that we're having i want to know I don't think any industry. Oh, there's plenty. Yo, there's plenty stuff, but I don't think any industry can thrive without finances. First of all, there is no industry there's no finances because there. Even though you might have dreams, but finances is what would you know help to bring your dreams to actualization. Exactly, Mm. and then you know, um, passion would take it to the next level and blah blah blah. Finance is a huge constraint. Knowing that most um, African artists only get. they get paid through stage performances which they daring probably use mm-hmm. to find i'll speak for my own self i use my stage performance um 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 what do you call it what's that pay the payment uh, from, yeah. yeah to fund other fund my entire and this we have done for, for, for years, years back to back putting in what we get to get another a little more yeah. mm-hmm. and putting it back it's like a lifetime yeah. investment yes that is not a very healthy business model because you're you're stressed constantly yes and it's for for so many years Mm. if you were in an environment that were more because africans don't exactly have a very good buying culture okay if we had buying culture that would help as in where someone wants to sell a t-shirt and you buy it actually so you have a merchandise that yeah why are you not giving us for free you yeah. know and then if if we're in a situation where royalties were being taken care of that would be great as well knowing that if you play my song at the party i get paid even if it's two naira yes. it's something yeah. it will accumulate and becomes and I, I could use it to give you more music yeah. everybody could use it to do a little more so i say i would say that finances are at an all-time low and unfortunately the standard of living is still going all the way up, up. so all the factors that affect everyone in in nigeria and africa Africa, mm-hmm. all the negatives are still stacked up against us mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. as artists and as business mm-hmm. um, um, people mm. but we're trying to make it work okay. you know we're trying to make it work and I hope that someday uh, the royalty system actually starts to work in our favor okay you know? okay mm-hmm. that, that makes sense mm-hmm. mm. Like I'm, I'm, I'm putting two and together. It's, you co- know, it's coming together, but it's, I'm sure it's not easy. It's, it's, not, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, yeah, but, you, be, but you're able to. Con- you're able to um, have an understanding of like this new album you just dropped. Now you know how far it's. You, you can. You can uh, sort of. Con- uh, no, let me say how. What's, what do I want to say? You know how to get the numbers and see how well it's doing in terms of. You know they say oh yeah me like they sold three million copies of. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Because yes. I, yeah. You all can. the algorithms, all the oh, numbers yeah, are out there. Now, now so. you can always get yeah the back so, sheet end of um what's happening uh, the with engagement you. and everything yeah, just exactly. like you look at it, uh, insights on instagram and all yeah exactly yeah just like instagram and insights, insights. exactly okay. Okay. so you can see um which song or what project is doing better than the other or what next to do i think just like every other project you must give it time okay. you know time does everything for yeah. you especially what you do with yeah. time yeah. yeah this is um we're, we're at the end of august what is the highest what's your high point for the year 
so far so far yes um i, I mean you still have a couple of months but so far so good what is the best thing that's happened to you this year i can't believe that i am at my fourth album <laughs> i really cannot believe like it's been yeah. a long time coming yeah. you know uh, there are times when i i probably thought that um this would probably be my last album for yeah. a while you know there are times where i wanted to try other things because there's so many things that i do that aren't you know out there yeah what else um, what else do you do yummy there are other things you don't that you don't want the public to know. No, that I don't want the public to know. What you, they're just little I, things I, on you the side. The stri- you work in the strip club. That's but not that, a big deal. I have the body for that. That would be nice. Yeah, you, you do actually. I, you know, but just don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> so apart from singing, what 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 is what do you know? I mean, if you don't want to share what this, but what else do you know? What 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 skills do you I, have? I feel like do you do you do you draw? You know that I like to cook. No. <laughs> I know that you no, like. No, 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 I, I I like the results and outcome of cooking. The process <laughs> is tedious for me, <laughs> but I. I do like to eat good food and yeah. it's hard to impress yeah, you're me. Foodie. Yeah, foodie. I would just open one mama and can uh, mama in kemin katsi or something <laughs> one day, you know. Yeah. Um. So food, I'm definitely interested in at some point in my life. Yeah. Fashion, 100 yeah. percent for those who like the quirky, edgy lifestyle. Oh, yeah. Um. Also, I being in music for so long, mm-hmm. it has you know taught me the business side of business. Yeah. So I do like to involve myself yeah. myself in transactions. Yeah here and there mm-hmm. trying to learn because to be sincere there is no way like africa our own way is different <laughs> you can put two naira and you get zero for a long time but out there if you put two naira in something yeah you get it back yeah at least you break even yeah you know, so i'm just trying to learn i'm mm-hmm. just like every other person i'm trying to figure this out on this journey for this this thing called life and this adulting thing called, this adulting yeah that set up in yeah hmm. what kind of men do you like what's your taste in men like men yeah are you a tall, dark, handsome kind of guy? What do you look out for when you're... Are you, are you dating now? I would say I'm... Um, sapos... What do you call that thing? Sapiosexual. No. Yeah, yeah saposexual. Yeah. yeah. It's more about the intellect and uh. what's going on in between the ears. Uh-huh. Be able to have mature, um, intelligent conversations mm-hmm. would definitely be mm-hmm. um, number one. Certainly mm-hmm. being um, not just religious, but actually having God love and kindness as the yeah. core of your being yeah definitely followed by hygiene yeah. um <laughs> ambition is definitely on the plate <laughs> um putting your words to action someone who is proactive mm. and knows how to put their feet on mm-hmm. the ground is great i think i'm pretty much describing someone i'd like to be a friend with first and then then have you found him well is he there that i shall okay. not answer clearly he is there but you won't want to talk about him <laughs> She's shaking it. So are you in love? Are you what sort of lover are you? Are you one of those oh. butterfly in my tummy or you're a realistic we'll lover? We'll be discussing Kama Wait, Sutra at this point. <laughs> you know, when you're with me, you gotta you, you have to be real. Like, what sort of lover? You know, you have these people that they're like hopeless romantics and they're like, oh dreamy, and you have these lovers that they you know, they're in love with you, baby. I'm in love with you, but hey, you know, okay, you call me, you know, like they're just strict in the relationship. What's that? Are you like a mushy, mushy person, or you're just like, you know what? Hey, I'm dating, it's fine. I like to work a lot. Um, so at this point, <laughs> there are 14 songs on the Woman of Steel. We talked about the Woman of Steel. Oh, album. yeah, that's that's still <laughs> on, and I will be at um, <laughs> the screen. About, we've, we've talked about Beyonce, we've talked about everything. We that's, talk about the see, that's side. boring, please. What do you want? Let's do you want focus kids? on things I have. Oh, do, do you want to impregnate me, bro? Do you, do you want, want do you want kids? Do you like boys or girls? I like, I want to have boys and girls, boys and girls. Do you want to have twins? Are you are you one of those? I'm not sure. You're not sure. I don't know. You just I don't have, know. You're yeah. just healthy babies. Healthy babies. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to have babies. lots of babies or just like one or two babies? My mom had three. Okay. Three is Do you want number. more than no. three? No. Okay. Three is the number. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of work. It is. Do you have a puppy? No, I don't. I can't care for a puppy now. Ah, it needs time. It's puppy needs time and attention. I seen in your life carrying a puppy all over the uh, place now. Maybe she's learning. Or I'll ask her. Maybe she has a whole page for her already. for her puppy. Like uh, she no, she has time for them for 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 it. Only one. She has one. Yeah, she has. She's got one. No, so, bro. Yeah. Okay. No, bro. Uh, my friend just got a puppy, mm-hmm. and I watched her move from excited to oh my god what did i get myself into yeah because they need so much from you it's like it's literally like a baby but you know that it's never going to almost end yeah you have to keep potty training them and doing all that yeah forever ever. man congratulations on your album uh yummy thank uh, you I, i'm so proud of you thank and you so i i wish you so many wins 
Definitely. So many women. But one more question I want to ask you before we go, mm-hmm. um, because I know you need to get ready for your premiere later yeah, on. So. Yeah, so. you need to go. One more question. There oh is a notion God. that, wait now, there is a notion that, you know, most celebrities, you know, you, you guys are always out there. You have to put up a, a, a personality. People see you. They want to take pictures with you, you know, on the flip side. And there's also a lot of notion that most of you aren't really happy. Hmm. okay so you know and you're you're afraid to trust people because obviously you don't know who's with you because of what you have or yeah. who's really being genuine and these are actually yeah. facts that have happened yeah. to even the most famous of of mm-hmm. them um like you go to the markets to buy things you, you you can't live a normal lifestyle that anybody on the streets would live mm. you know so what is your headspace uh, like that how have you be how are you able to manage your mental health. I always want to ask that because I would just say to you, Yemi, how are you? Like, I'm fine, but are you really fine? Yeah, I yeah. get that. I, I feel like you just described like pretty much anyone out there. Everyone is, is is scared for what the other person might want to take away from them. Everyone is scared about what's going on in the other person's mind that they don't know. Right. People are very insecure about everything. Yeah. I think the older we get, the more insecure we become, yeah. especially because of past experiences True. and stuff. Yeah. Um, but then again there is th- just if you look at yourself in the mirror yeah and you look at the things that you have also done you will know that you as well are no angel yeah and so i think we all need to still give people a chance if you don't give people a chance you will never know but that doesn't mean that putting up your guards is not a bad thing but in terms of being happy or yes. put, putting up a, a front a front yes i uh, want to know and being sad on the inside, inside i think that that's a very very bad place to be mm. and have you been have you ever been in, in that space well I, not i've been all the in way that down space, there yeah but i've been in that space where i'm not really happy but i have to be i have to come here and be really happy and then i go back and you know but it's not something that it's been, it takes a, a long i time. think that 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 right there when it's surface like that yes. is just adulting yes because sometimes i tell myself right now i know i'm just being an, an adult, adult because yeah. i must show up because i said i will be there Fine. You know, that's part of being a- an adult. You yeah. can't always be happy every day. Are you a psycho? <laughs> well, there are some people like that. Well, I don't know. Something might be wrong yeah. somewhere. So but they're suppressing emotions and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Mm. And then there's sometimes, I think we all need to, the older we get, mm. having all these emotions happen to us at the same time. Yeah. We need to be able to t- pick up a mirror on our own mm. and say, yeah, me, you're going to have a good day today. Yeah. Because to be sincere, sometimes your emotions are just your thoughts. Yeah. All you have to do is reroute them. Yeah. It might just mean taking a bathroom break yeah. and saying, scratch that. Yeah. I'm sure. having a fabulous day. Okay. And anybody that's about to bring that energy again, yeah. you're not going to have it. What do you do to create sanity for yourself? Do you meditate? I stay away from everybody and okay. anything. Yeah. And I enjoy me. You have me time. I enjoy me. Yeah. I love me. Okay. I could be in my sitting room, yeah. turn on the TV, no volume. I'm yeah. just there. Yeah, and I don't want to have conversation. What's the idea? What's an idea of a good pamper session for you? Oh, definitely some good wine, great food. I can <laughs> eat anything I want to eat. Just imagine, and then they come and massage me. Just imagine if I could just eat anything and never gain weight. That would be like <laughs> ultimate. I'm still looking forward to yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, a good pamper session would be from food to wine to great movies. Sitting in the jacuzzi. Jacuzzi is my place. <laughs> Massage all the way with you know a great see, hue see, of light look, look, going just on. Look at you. I can't wait to do that like on Sunday. <laughs> you need to go, you know, go for your premiere. And yeah, uh, I need to do the premiere. So and where's then your album? Just, where's your album on? Where can everyone get the album now? On all digital platforms. Um, yeah, anywhere you get your music from. Yeah. Woman of Steel album is out there yeah. right now. What's actually, your favorite song on the? My friend? favorite song right now. Yeah. I don't have a favorite song okay, because they're also songs? fresh. Your top three songs. Come on, girl, tell oh, mama, me. Mama, mia. <laughs> I do love the song with Funke because, uh, to be sincere, did you guys were you guys in the studio together recording that? No, but we 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 met and we discussed what we okay. wanted to okay. do with the song. Okay. And she said, okay, you know, she's married to JJ yes. JJ Skills, who's Skills, who's yeah. also an artist. Yes. So she was like, my husband and I would talk about okay. it. I was like, okay, <laughs> and I, I immediately I felt down. at ease because they have yeah. a studio in their house in the, as yeah, well. Yeah. So she just sent her vocals and, and it was they, exceptional. It was we just Cut it in some places, put what we need. So good, you have to do another version in it, the Swahili version. Ah, sitake umaskini mashani Oh, how many languages can you speak? I could talk to you forever. How many languages can you speak? <laughs> um, this one, after this one, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla is busy, even like stroking her hair, like mm, it's sweeting me. It's sweeting me. Oh my god, talk oh to my me. Girl. Girl. <laughs> talk to me. 
Um, Swahili and French. To be sincere, my Swahili is no it's good. It's no good, but you can. They can't sell, sell you. So uh, they can't, right? They, 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 they might can't. try okay. and they if might. It's too deep. In my work, yes. And you speak French? Yes, I do. Very well. Fifty percent. I 50%. can hold a conversation. I can get what I want. So say in French, and in this way, we're gonna sign out. Uh-huh. Is, uh, you're listening to the best radio station in oh. Nigeria in French. Oh. You better Sebo. say it right. Um, Kill the music. I want to hear it. Nous écoute um, eh? l- um, de musique dans les premières radio stations avec Jemi Alade et Masu Kela. Oh, Lagos! You know the thing about this show? People that understand French, they rate your French. Show. I'll tell you, rate Jemi's right. French. It's all right on Twitter. But thank you so much. I you're, said you're, you're, <laughs> you are listening to music uh-huh. on the number one station yes. with Jemi Alade and my sister Kela. I love it. Thank Where? you so much for that. And uh, good luck today. So Thank um, you. Um, can't wait to listen. I'm going to take a listen to the album. I'm going <laughs> to pick my favorites. <laughs> and um, I wish you all the success. And thank you for stopping by the cool Thank station. you so much. It was much. Re- great talking to you. Thank you. I also bought a bottle of something beautiful. And when you tap the button underneath, my face comes up. What is that? It's let a bottle see. of Belair. Ah. So let me see that. That's it. So wow. it comes up like that. <laughs> There's no flavor. And I brought your invite. <laughs> So if recorded. you have time, come get a drink. Yes, come I will. Let me see. Chops. Where is it taking place? Um, don't okay, tell them. Don't tell them. Yeah, private. I see, I see okay, all right. All right <laughs> don't all right. tell anybody. I'll snap chat from there. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yemi. This is this, this looks good. This is yes. my, this is my drink to chill. Yes, all right. Babe. We're gonna go on a break, and I'll be back with more on ninety six point nine Cool FM's Road Show. I hope you enjoyed Yemi's interview. Go get her new album. It's called Woman of Steel. It's out today on all platforms. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you.